people are with people of God. I greet you all in the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Especially, Jesus means YouTube families, GPS Robinson Facebook families who are enrolled there. I praise God for each and every one. Every day early in the morning, we are bringing the word of God from the Lord. And by His name, we are sharing this word which consists of five minutes of message. We produce it and we are so glad in bringing this video to your houses. And thank God for the graceful days that God has given to us. Same like that. I stand as one of your family member here. You know, the Jesus meets family is a big family and you are a member of this family and I praise God for that. You now what's the word that God wants to give you today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verses 16. Children of God, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? The Spirit of the Lord God dwells in you. You know, what's the word that God is telling you? The Spirit of the Lord, I am the Spirit of the Lord who dwells in you. I dwell in you. Dwelling means if there are four different rooms in your houses, dwelling in four rooms is a thing. There are ten rooms. Ten rooms is dwelling. He says that if I am dwelling, I am dwelling in your spirit, soul and body. Not only dwelling, he is residing into us. So what you should say, the Spirit of the Lord, you are dwelling in me, Lord. You are residing in me, Lord. You are guiding me, Lord. Even today, you guide me. When David says, he leads me into green pastures and takes me to the still waters, same like that, Lord, create a still situation. The problems that I have in my mind, in my family, it should not overtake me. Lord, you are in me. You are dwelling into me. You will guide me. You will take care of me. This is the confession that you must have. Just ask God for the grace and his grace will guide you. If God wills, when you end this day, when you go to the bed, the spirit of the Lord who dwells in you, will do miraculous works through you and in you and he will dwell in you and he'll be your Lord. That's what when 2 Corinthians 6 verse 16 says, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. What a great blessing it is. This is the prophetic word of this day. So don't lose your heart. Don't be discouraged. Don't think that God forgot me. No, he never forgets you. What you should do, you should be filled in the anointing, speak in tongues every day and pray and God will take care of other things. Okay, shall we pray? A loving heavenly father, even in this day, the people who are gathered with me in prayer, just look unto them, Lord. And by your powerful name, let it be glorified first. As you have said that the heaven is the throne and the earth is the footstool. From your foot shall I pray for your children, Lord. The God of peace, let the devil be crushed under your children's feet and you are dwelling in their hearts and minds and let you be their God and they be your people. Thank you for taking care of them, blessing and loving them abundantly. Whatever your children ask now, in this moment, whatever they ask, Lord, let it happen and fulfill right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Yes, my dear beloved people of God, you have received the answers of your prayer. Just thank him for whatever he has done to you. Next, whatever blessing that you have received, share to other people in your WhatsApp group, whoever they are, in your Facebook just share these messages. They will be blessed surely. And then Hindi and English message are already produced for you. It's available. 
share those messages also pray for them god bless you see you again our address jesus meets ministries number 4 kavarapalaya main road abadi chennai 54 india telephone number 9841252836 729-546363 Email ID gpsrobinson at hotmail.com gps.office at jesusmeets.org Website address www.gpsrobinson.org